G'day, Facebook Live. Uh, been a wee while since I've been on, so I'm just coming at you really quickly tonight uh, for my three top tips uh, on how to eat, sleep, and conquer stress. This is what I do with clients and through my coaching packages, and I love helping them out. And really, uh, it's a big step for someone to make that commitment to coming along and learn um, in those packages. It, they've got to put themselves out there, they've got to trust in someone else, it's a big deal, I understand that. So wait for a few people to jump on because I want to get some free content to everybody that can actually get something out of it. Uh, first off, um, can you hear me okay? We've got Sharon, Stuart, Julie jumping on. If you can let me know, that'd be great. Hey Stuart, great to see you mate. Thank you very much. I'll just bring up the computer here so I can um, see the comments live as well because reading on these fancy devices for an old boy like me is not going to happen. Okay, awesome, so we're good, thanks Julie, appreciate it. So look, if you're joining in, please tell me if you're watching the replay or if you're watching live. Um, sorry, something fancy down in the comments. The more you share uh, this video out, uh, like it, comment it, all that uh, stuff. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story there, Stuart, a really embarrassing story actually. Um, uh, the more you guys get that social media content out about it, the more people will see this. The, this is free content. It's things I've learned in 32 years of, um, of fitness and health and 28 years of teaching it. So, hey, win-win for everybody. So Stuart just said he had to turn my speakers up. A funny story. I did one of the best podcasts I've ever done uh, the other day with Sean Wells. Great guy known as the... Mm, what do you know as? The king of formulators, he makes supplements and all that stuff. He's a nutritional biochemist and all these things, but we didn't even talk about supplements. We just spent an hour on an amazing health story, how he healed his um, Hashimoto's, his fibromyalgia, and, and two other amazing diseases. Apple, nice to see you. Thank you for joining in. Jojo, who we got there? Tim, awesome. Um, and so the funny story was, uh, he does podcasts all the time. I think he's done over 100 uh, interviews on, on radio and TV and, and online podcasts. And I've got him on the on the podcast. I can't hear him. I go, dude, you know, press this, press this. I'm trying to help him out. Blonde, old boy here, had the volume down on my speakers, so he had me been logging in, logging off, and, and trying to get it going for ten minutes. And I'm thinking, what's this uh, Yankee doing? And doesn't know how to how to perform simple tasks. And here it was me. So it's not just you, Stu. We all do it. Um, so team, please share it, uh, this um, this this video out to your groups. Please share it on your wall, and we can get some more people seeing it. Be really really cool. Uh, if you've seen me before, you know I'm a no bullshit guy. I'm going to teach. I'm going to tell you some evidence based things, regardless of my beliefs, regardless of any dogma or anything. Like that. Not keto, not paleo, none of this other crap out there. But I'll teach you um, uh, the three subjects, and the reason I teach that. I'm coming here today because I met an amazing person today um, from Intense Health, um, Marcelo Mesquite. And look up intensehealth.com, I think it is, or Google Intense Health uh, on, on in Australia, Perth, whatever, definitely Perth, and you'll see it. I met an amazing guy, and he was like a young version of me. Uh, he is an exercise physiologist. He um, he knows all the science, he's got all the scientific gear and combined that into a package and the first thing he said to me was for his for his business we save people's lives and this is some dude in a gym it really it was a really funky gym it's one of the best ones I've ever been in it was about um, twice the size of this kitchen and had um, four machines amazing stuff we save people's lives how he does that is he he um, gets some strong with muscle and he fixes their, um, his, his wife is a nutritionist, fixes the nutrition. And then they work on stress and so on. I thought, holy cow, why haven't I heard of this guy? I'm going to post the video. I did a workout. I'm still sore now from it. Marcel, you, you bugger, you, you really hurt me. So um, Sam, thanks for jumping on, mate, and, and Katie. So look, um, that's why I'm coming to you today because it was just so good to resonate with a guy like that. Um, and he made me, I've done this for 28 years teaching clients, one of the first personal trainers in the world, all that stuff. And you don't, 
you take for granted the knowledge you've got, you take for granted what you do for people, and it can change people's lives, it really does. I mean, I've seen amazing transformations of clients, and it's not about the body, the body's a side effect of health. Get in shape, that'll show that you're given good health. If you just want to get in shape and go on stage in a bodybuilding competition for 60 seconds, you'll ruin your health. I have, I know people that do, and now they take drugs here in Perth, it's, it's disgusts me, um, it's wrong. Get healthy, get amazing body, and you only do that through these three things. How to eat, sleep, conquer stress. Three things. Exercise is extra. You know, today, um, he, this, this new friend of mine was saying, you know, lose weight, nothing to do with exercise, just fix your food. It's 80% of the result. It's so true. So, thank you for sharing this video out. Thank you for commenting there. It's really, really cool. If you've got questions on this, just put them in the comments. I will answer any questions after I do the live, and I'll get back. I'm happy to, um, to use the knowledge I've, I've gained. I love to say I'm not a smart person, but I know some super smart people. I'm lucky that I know the top people in the world in their fields, and I have a go. I've got a great memory. Which means it's not from my belief system, it's just sharing their knowledge. So here we go. Which one should we do first, sleep or stress? First person to slam it down there in the comments, we're in. I don't want to have to waffle on here to fill the gap, but first person who says sleep or stress, we will address that one. You guys can roll, flip the coin, roll the dice, see what we've got. Shall we? Hi, Sue, good to see you. Okay, oh, Katie says sleep. Well, thank you, you're going to make me look like a fool now. My top tips, and most of them are free, top tips. This is the top tip. <laughs> he really said sleep, holy cow. Um, top tip is you've got to wear orange glasses at night. We like to turn them birth control for your face because they're not the most sexy things. Demonstration. Not sexy, but when that sun goes down outside, that means that these horrible things here, these lights, are not supposed to be coming in your eyes. When those lights come in your eyes, you do not make sleep hormone. Do not make sleep hormone, because you produce cortisol, produce... <laughs> that's, that's smart ass to do, yeah, 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 birth control of your face. So you don't make um, sleep hormone, you make cortisol, and that's good to keep you awake. It's not supposed to be there after the sun goes down. I've got about another 45 minutes. So the deal is when the sun goes down, you either turn off the lights and go to bed. Hello, modern world. Probably not going to happen. You put on the orange glasses. The sundown happens. The sun's gone. Orange glasses go on. Or have candles everywhere. <laughs> Burn your house down more than likely. Use red lights, uh, red LEDs, all those fancy things. But... That's the cheapest way, super cheap. Uh, I'll put a link in the um, description, uh, in the comments there, of where to get them, and they're really, really good. Got some comments? <laughs> Sharon's got them in the shed. I'm not sure if you're like a laser welder or something like that, but they're, they're not quite the safety glasses, but um, get wraparounds. Don't get the really cool Arnold Schwarzenegger ones, these, um, all these actually ones that do look quite good, because the light's gonna come in the side and, and, the, and the underneath as well. So, orange glasses, the biggest thing I can do for your sleep is you put these on and the sun goes down and you will start to produce sleep hormone. You can still do the dishes, put the kids to bed, whatever the hell you got to do. Maybe not much sexy time with these afterwards, but orange glasses, top tip for sleep. Sure, we can go to a massive depth, but I'm going to just give you my three top tips because that, uh, you, you'll learn something, you'll apply it. Give you 10 things to do, you won't do anything. So, orange glasses. We've got a whole bunch of them. Um, Dave Ashby on a plane. Holy cow, I don't know. Have you seen him in person, Stu? I'll be amazed. Uh, if, you, if you have. Um, you don't wear orange glasses in the day. Hopefully, I've, um, I wouldn't say dumbed it down, but hopefully I've explained it like an adult. Orange glasses, you're supposed to have light coming in your eyes when it's daytime. You're supposed to be awake. I don't know where these comments come from, but these go in at sundown, you will get amazing sleep. Might take some time to reset your sleep hormone but they will, they will work. Thank you so much, Katie. Tag your friends, share the video, like it, all those things, more people will see, and this stuff is just about free. 
It's my advice that will change people's part of people's lives each time. Um, next one, uh, we'll do stress because the each one uh, I've got a bit of a surprise there. Uh, what else we got there? Thanks you, Sam. That's, that's really kind of you, mate. Um, it really does come down to that. Sam said sleep, stress and nutrition is so important. Movement's only 20%. Movement's a catalyst. It's just a catalyst. Okay, so um, stress. This one's even easier and it's less than the $30 glasses. It's $2 on an app, but it's also free. You can do it. So. Some of you guys know that I was a Special Forces Operator back in New Zealand in the military. I spent eight years in the military and three years in the, um, on, in this, in the squadron on, on the team. All Special Forces units use a stress response technique. There's no such thing as stress management. Total bullshit. I know for a fact that one person uh, here, awesome, thanks for jumping on Eleni. I know for a fact that one person watching here or that jumped on the live um, is super stressed, cortisol's through the roof, um, and it's not about managing it because you can't change how busy you are. Well, you may be able to, but highly unlikely. If you have kids, you won't be able to. And um, you just can't change those inputs. You know, all these motivational things on Facebook and social media, just cut out that noise. We teach a stress response technique because as special forces guys or, or SWAT team guys, police, all these people, there's many poorly trained police officers out there because the civilians trying to do a horrible, hard job, poorly, with poor training. They operate high stress and they need to function better than um, the rest. And, and we do that uh, in all the units. The one that the Navy SEALs use, the US Navy SEALs, is called box breathing. And it's a form of combat breathing. Think of those words, how powerful this is, what I'm trying to tell you. Combat, incredibly stressed, more, more stressful than whatever the hell you got going in your lives there, even though you may think it's pretty important what you've got going on. But under combat, that's real die or, or live stress, fight or flight stress. And this is to be used during that. It will get you the same meditative state as some super yogi. So just slam down if you've done meditation before. I think I tried it once, the focus on one singular thought or the absence of any other thoughts. I gave this lecture um, after a yogi once at a health um, uh, lecture series. This yogi got up for like 30 minutes, was yapping on about uh, this, uh, I wasn't really listening. Nice guy though, um, spoke well, got the audience captured. Um, he's talking about all these different states in the brain and then he said about this one state, this awesome meditative state and it took his yogi 20 years to learn how to do it. I got up after and said, everything that guy said was awesome. He's right on. I'm going to tell you how to do it in three minutes because I haven't got time to waste. I thought that was a, humor is not my strongest point, but I thought I, I got, the, um, got the point across. So combat breathing, box breathing. US Navy SEALs use this breathing technique. And all it is is this, you breathe in, three seconds, three, two, one, hold your breath, three, two, one, breathe out, three, two, one, hold your breath, three, two, one. There's an app called, funnily enough, Box Breathing, boxbreathing.org, I'll put the link in there as well. You can use the app, uh, like so many people would need to run their lives now, or you can just do it yourself. If you do that twice a day, and as required, if you're feeling anxious, feeling butterflies, feeling tightness in your chest, I got a client that feels like she's got an elephant sitting on her chest um, when she came to see me, and she was admitted to hospital for a uh, possible heart attack, and it was just anxiety. Poor stress response, can't change the input, have to change the response. If you do this twice a day, for four to six to eight weeks, neurophysiologists say you'll get a permanent change in your brain, permanent change in the way you respond to an event. That sounds like a bloody good thing. It's free. We can do the app. Really, really smart thing to do is the box breathing, the Navy Seal breathing. <sighs> what have we got? You already do that. Awesome. Well done, Sharon. It looks like you got it on uh, on point. And soon, no, I don't think <laughs> I don't think meditation is ever going to work, <laughs> unless you're some yogi and takes you twenty years. Apparently, cut through the bullshit, eh? So we've done sleep. We've done stress. Uh, how to eat. 
Um, really, really simple team. Uh, there's like a million ways to eat. There's no one way to eat for humans. Uh, unfortunately, I'd like to give you the um, the answer, but no, it's not going to happen. Um, there's keto, there's paleo, there's vegan, vegetarian, all that dogmatic crap. It's what you need for who you are as a person genealogically, for your environment and for your output. So example there, uh, 45 years old, um, through the ages of 30 to 40, I was doing uh, high, well, we were the top 1% of people in the world in the military, and I was also doing um, ultra marathons, running, and hey, I didn't have a six pack. That defies logic. Um, that's because I was insulin resistant, eating too many carbs, and at that time, um, that screwed me up later on in life. Had to reverse that. I had to um, do a certain thing for food then, and I do a different thing for food now. So it's where you are uh, genealogically, it's where you are environmentally, so what you're putting in and, and on your, your body, and um, uh, also your output. Uh, are you trying to grow muscle? Are you stressed? Are you not sleeping? All those things. No one died in the world, but there is a solution. Uh, shameless self-promotion, but again, it's free. Now, I know, I've been told on Facebook that this is backwards. If you're trying to read something, it's backwards. So this is my right hand with my Ura ring on there. Um, so you probably won't be able to read this, but what we've got is, what is the best diet in the world? If you're in Perth, it's a free event this Sunday, 10, 15 a.m., Gorgeous location in Cottesloe at the Cottesloe Civic Centre. I'll put the link in the, the um, comments below as well. And in this, I will teach you, along with uh, Jackie Taylor from the Functional Body, the most successful diet, and by the way, it's not a diet, near whatever you want. 98% adherence after a year. 98%. To date, right now, currently, like five years ago, it was ninety-five percent. But right now, currently, ninety-eight percent of all diets fail after five years. You will gain back all the weight you gain, you lost, or gain more after five years. So that's dumb. Don't do a diet that's got a two percent success rate. This one's got a ninety-eight percent success rate. It's not dogmatic. You don't come along and learn all those fancy uh, diets. Um, put the I'll put the link in. If you're in Perth, come along. If you're not in Perth, um. Uh, flick me a comment and I will give some information on it. Um, I'll keep it that simple. Um, I guess something you take away if you don't want to come to this, if you're not interested in learning something really, really cool, is the diet that's right for you is the one you can do for your life and gets you great health and gets you great body. So be honest, be brutal. And oh my God, I had to hold myself back today. If you're out of shape, if you're overweight, it's not working. If you're unhealthy, it's not working. Don't stick your head in the sand. Don't bullshit yourself. The right diet for you is the one you can do, you will do, gets you healthy and gets you in shape. If you're not in shape, it's not working. That's just bullshit. Don't lie to yourself. If you're not healthy but you're in shape, again, don't bullshit to yourself. That's dumb and it's not sustainable and it's not healthy. There's better ways and I love teaching my clients that. I love teaching people that come along for lectures and this is a free lecture we run every month. Love to see you there. Thank you everyone for joining in. I really appreciate you, you staying on and listening to me waffle. I hope you learned something. Please let me know if you did. Uh, we've got a few more comments. Who we got there, Rosita? Hey Rosie, good to see you. I can't quite read a comment, I'll wait for it to come up on the computer. Uh, I go live on Sunday, oh I see. Possibly, I'd like to. I'll see if I can get um get Jackie to do some of that. I'm thinking about recording it, recording the lecture and, and putting it up there as well. Um, team, the coaching packages if you're interested, uh, go to eatwellmovewell.net, eatwellmovewell.net. All in one word there, obviously. Click on services, you'll see the, the 12 week or three month coaching packages I do. There's a whole bunch I've released. Uh, I don't take many clients on, um, but I, I do well with the clients I've got. It's three months of learning. One off consultations are bullshit, they don't work. I know that because I used to do them and 90% failure rate. 
Don't waste your money. Three months of learning. It takes that long just to make a change in your education, your psyche, uh, your stress response, your sleep patterning, your hormonal balance, all those things. It's three months of learning. You won't change your life if you come to be 40 years old, you've got out of shape and out of health and learned 40 years of feeding. You won't do that in one one consult. You do that in, in a three months and it's super, super successful. Katie, my absolute pleasure. Thank you so much uh, for joining in. Thank you everybody for for um, for watching. I really appreciate your feedback because talking to yourself <laughs> sucks. <laughs> you know, on Facebook Live, I'll tell you, it is putting yourself out there. It's balls on the line stuff. Um, I've had some great feedback from some some really close uh, friends of mine, some good buddies, army guys, obviously, brotherhood. Um, but they've encouraged me to keep doing these because they do get something out of it. So thank you everybody for jumping in. Um, please, if you're just jumping in now, go back and watch the replay. You will learn really, really cool things. And share it, like it, comment it. And if you've got questions, I will um, answer them in the replay, uh, answer them on the computer now. And, and yeah, if you do share it, that means more people see it. So that's helpful for everybody. If you think it's worth it. If you're not, hey, if you don't think it's worth it, honestly, just, just unfriend me and delete it and get rid of it. Because um, that's, that's from the heart, that's the best I can do. Thank you team, awesome uh, to have the feedback and awesome to teach you, cheers.